All right, guys, now we're going to shift gears and start talking about Reconstruction, this period after the Civil War. We still have to deal with the 600,000 at least who were killed in the war, resulting in just massive changes in the available manpower to rebuild the South and the North to a degree as well. You also have the sheer physical devastation of the South, as seen in these images. The South is completely devastated. Whole cities destroyed and infrastructure completely gone. And you also have four million newly freed slaves who all have to be provided for because they have no job, education, or place to live. And so Lincoln is faced with a very, very difficult task. In addition to all of that, he has to figure out how to bring the country back together. And so he proposes what comes to be known as the 10% plan, which after 10% of any state's people swear loyalty to the Union, the state would be rejoined. It would be a pardon to all Southerners except the Confederate leaders, and all that he asks is that the state constitutions abolish slavery. The Radical Republicans wanted a much tougher law. They wanted to punish the South for its actions, and so they didn't, voted to deny seats to any state reconstructed under Lincoln's plan. And then two men stepped forward to propose a rival plan, and those were Benjamin Wade, who was a senator from Ohio, and Henry Winter Davis, a representative from Maryland. And they proposed what comes to be known as the Wade-Davis Bill, which was a much tougher Reconstruction plan. They asked that 50% of the states swear loyalty to the Union, and that they, the states abolish slavery, and that only Southerners who had not fought in the war would be allowed to vote. Thanks, guys, for paying attention. Hopefully we took good notes, and we'll see you tomorrow.